Hello everyone. We will continue the topic function module. And in the previous video, we understood the meaning of all these tabs. Now, what is our requirement? We want to make sum of two numbers or the requirement we can say, we want to create a function module for the sum of two numbers. It means we have how many input? We have two input. We have how many output? We have one output. And in the previous video, we covered whenever you want to go for input parameters, we will always, always make use of which tab? Import tab. Because import stands for what? Input. You always, always give the input parameters through which particular tab, import tab. And we have how many input parameter? Two input parameter. Now we have how many output parameter? One output parameter. So we will declare that output parameter using which particular tab, export tab, because we all know export is the output parameters of the function module. So we'll start with this particular process. So I will go to import tab. I will declare two input parameters here. Now we will follow the best naming conventions always. Suppose my name of the first parameter is P input one. Now I will go for type. Now here, what we need to pass, we already covered what is the best way to declare, what is the best way to declare a parameter, but the best way to declare a variable, you always, always has to give name type data element. If you remember, this is always, always we did. Suppose I declare this parameter. So what I did? parameter type data element. Whenever you are declaring any variable, what is the best way to declare variable name type data element? Because we all know data element has a domain and domain is all about what technical characteristics. Same thing we are doing here. We are declaring two parameters or we are declaring two input parameters. So I will give the type. Suppose I am saying NUMC2. Now, what is this NUMC2? NUMC2, it is a SAP predefined data element. It is a, it is a SAP data element because name starts with what? N. It is not starting with Z or Y. If I will double click, this data element has a domain of what numeric to it means this particular P input one is of what numeric to so this is the best way to declare a variable or parameters. Now we will go for second input parameter. We'll go for type. You can use your own data elements also of numeric to it is totally, totally your wish. Suppose my second input is also numeric to. So I gave NUMC2. So I have two input parameters. One is P input one, one is P input two. Now I will go for one output parameter. So suppose my name of the output parameter is P output. As we always has to follow the best naming convention. So I gave the name starting with P. P output type. Now I'm using that data element NUMC3. It is a SAP data element because name starts with N. I will double click and you can see it has a domain of numeric three only. It means 
p output is of what numeric 3 so our two inputs are ready our one output is ready now what is the next thing we need to write the logic we already covered in function module in which particular tab you need to write the logic source code source code the purpose of source code is to write the logic i will go to source code tab now just see you can see two input and one output is appearing here always always we are writing the logic between function and end function we will always write the logic between function and end function so what is your output this is your output what is our output parameter p output is equal to what is our input what is our first input parameter p input 1 plus what is our second input it is p input 2 so we have written the logic this sum of two numbers will assign to this output parameter and what is the name of output parameter export yes we want a output it means we need to pass the result to what export because export stands for what output i will check the syntax and i will activate the function module so we declare two input parameter one output parameter and we have written the logic in the source code tab now firstly we will check our function module our function module is working fine or not so i will simply simply execute the function module using this test button now you can see two input parameters are coming automatically p input 1 p output p input 2 suppose my first input is 10 my second input is 20 now i will simply simply click on to this execute button and you can see p output export parameter what is the result 30 so we have two input parameters i gave the value to those to those two input parameter and the result is coming into which particular output parameter p output it means our function module is working fine so what is the summary of the video what we studied in this particular video based upon our requirement we took two input parameter and one output parameter while declaring input we all know but the best way to declare the parameters or variable always always use the data elements because we are going for single single value we are making sum of single single numbers now we took one output parameter and i used sap data element num c3 because we all know data element has the domain and domain is all about the technical characteristics in the source code tab we have written the logic we executed the function module independently and we check the output of the function module in the next video we will see how to use this function module inside a program because ultimately we need to call this function module inside the program in the next video we will learn how to call this function module inside a program so that's it in this video thank you